Welcome to Bronson Canadian Academy. This video is a tutorial about our learning management system called R Campus. It will help you navigate the various areas you need to know in order to facilitate a smooth and seamless e-learning experience. So the first step we are going to look at is how to get to the R Campus website. There are two options. The first option we are going to look at is doing a search for the term our campus. So we will just type in the term our campus in the Google search box. And we would click on the first link that appears, which is the our campus homepage. And here we are brought to the login login page. The second option to log into or to find the R Campus website is to simply type www.rcampus.com and that brings us to this the first login page. Now each of you should have your username and password so these are pre-assigned and you need these two pieces of information to log in. So we would go ahead and log in. All right, once you're logged in, there will be a message stating that you are now logged in and it will state, um, hello and your name at the top right hand corner here. So the first page or tab that we would access is the classroom. So just beside the home tab we would click on classroom and this would open up other tabs under the classroom tab. The first tab that we want to go to is the classes. So here is where you will access your classes. So here we have come to the classes tab and we would go under my classes to the go to box here and there's a drop down menu so you would simply click on that drop down menu and select the appropriate class that you wish to access so in this example we will go to the English course and here we are on the home page of the English course uh, now we can see here that there are several things on this page. So firstly, what I would like to point out is the lesson plan that has been posted here. On this page, there will be either a lesson plan or a calendar that states the, uh, the lessons and the titles or the topic of the lessons that are going to be taught uh, in any given week or day. So we see in this example here for the for this English course we have the the unit and the week. Uh, we have the teacher's name, the, co the course, the code and duration of of the course. So we'll just make the screen smaller so you can see. So here you have unit 1 and week 1 and it gives the days across here and the tasks or the topics that are going to be covered within that week as well as there are expectation codes. These expectation codes are uh, determined by the Ministry of Education of Ontario and so it's listed here. Uh, these topics here that are covered are in accordance to these expectation codes that are listed. So this is an important page for each student to pay attention to as this will uh, basically indicate to them what is upcoming in terms of uh, uh, coursework, any quizzes, any exams, uh, projects or uh, you know assignments. So this will be an important tool for each student to look at on a frequent basis. Okay so next is we on the syllabus page, which is the next page, um, this is where the syllabus is posted. So there will be information here in particular for the teacher 
to, to look at and follow through uh, in your teaching plan. We have a page here, class discussions. So we're just going through uh, briefly what is in our campus and we will go further into much more detail in another video. So we have class discussions. On this page is where we will have all the discussions that take place within the course. So whether it's a teacher to student or student to student interaction, here is where these messages will be posted. Okay, and the next page is coursework. So this is where all the coursework is posted, whether it be um, the, the notes, whether it be a quiz, an exam, a class project, um, uh, anything that is basically related to the course uh, that um, students need to know about, it will be under the coursework and um, you know all assignments, uh, tests will all come through this, this page. The next important page that students would need to know is the grades. So under the grades section, uh, students will be able to see their grades and scores on any given assignment or test. Uh, and here they will be able to see the uh, assessment tool that was used, used and any comments, uh, suggestions or notes that the teacher would have for them relating to any coursework that has been graded. And another section here is shared documents. In this section, the uh, students or the teacher is able to share documents with the entire class uh, or students are able to share documents with their classmates that will um, you know, be beneficial to them in general terms or pertaining to the specific course that they are in together. So we are not able to access this uh, right here on this video but we will be able to to see that in another video. And then the calendar as well is something that uh, in similar to the lesson plan uh, that will be able to show students any assignments that are due or any upcoming coursework. Uh, so basically this gives you a general overview of uh, what is in our campus and how uh, where you are able to to get information so in the upcoming videos we will go through each of these sections or pages uh, in great detail uh, with illustrations to show you how to navigate through them thank you